The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at surgical scrubs. In this episode, we're going to look at what are surgical scrubs and why do doctors and allied health professionals use them. Surgical scrubs are a form of clothing that's kind of a, become a signature with healthcare. Now, originally, I'm not sure exactly where the term scrubs came from, but my belief is that it has something to do with the origins of the clothing. So the first people who would wear scrubs uh, were surgeons, and the purpose of that is to protect yourself from getting a bunch of gore on your own clothes as you go home. So you wear these surgical scrubs and then recycle them. Now, as part of the preparation for performing surgery, we do a process called scrubbing, where we use brushes and brush under our nails, rub on under the crevices, try to get all the dirt, grime, and contaminants out of our skin before we actually lay our hands inside somebody to perform a surgery. So my belief is that um, the term scrubs actually comes from scrubbing and that procedure that has been um, being time honored. Now, when we talk about surgical scrubs, there's really three primary uh, pieces of clothing that we're looking at. There's the scrub hat, scrub shirt and scrub pants. And we'll look at all three um, of these and their special features. So first off, we're gonna talk about the scrub hat. Now I've had a few YouTubers ask me before, where can I get one of those bandanas? Well, bandanas are for bikers. These are called surgical scrub hats or just surgical scrub hats. Sorry, uh, scrub hats or surgical hats. So I'm gonna show you um, a couple examples I've acquired over the years. So this is three of them plus the one I'm already wearing and I actually have others. Now what you notice is that they have some features all in common with each other. First off, they're made of a light cotton. Light can actually pretty much penetrate through them, they're that thin. Not quite as thin as tissue paper, but they are quite thin, as you can see. And that makes them very, very soft, lightweight, and very comfortable. The other feature you'll also notice is the tails on the end here. These uh, strings here for tag. And the purpose of that is, just like with mine here, it allows you to tie them at the reverse. So that allows a one size to fit all. Like, no matter what size head you have, these typically can fit. Now, in a hospital setting, these are usually very boring looking, usually monotone, usually just one single color. When you buy them aftermarket, like I did, then you can get all these fancy, uh, flashy looking designs, which I much prefer myself. In addition, when you buy them aftermarket, you can also get your name uh, embroidered across it. So that's the surgical hats. And next we move on to the scrub shirts, which I'm actually wearing one right now. So I'm just gonna step back here so you can get a closer view. And the primary feature with them is the V neck, which allows easy mobility of your neck, easy movement of your shoulders, They're usually short sleeve, but occasionally I've seen some long sleeve too, but most of them uh, in general are short sleeve and they're very comfortable again. They're also made of uh, pure cotton or a uh, slight blend, uh, very breathable. So if, if, you're, um, if you're hot and perspiring, they breathe, so it wicks it away and very easy to maneuver around, which again, in, in a surgery you want because you want to be able to move and get at stuff easily. No one suddenly has got you restricted or like in a straight jacket. In addition, um, some of the ones I've used before have a breast, uh, breastplate uh, pocket. This one that I'm wearing presently, I don't know if you can see it, but this one has pockets down by the, the waist. And that's where you can put like pens in, prescription pads, um, medication or whatever. So very, very loose, very comfy. And then uh, that brings me finally to the pants, the, the scrub pants. And this is an example right here. But if this is an example right here, what am I wearing right now? Anyway, so as you can see here, again, very loose fitting. Same uh, idea again, cotton, very loose. And again, you see the principle of the drawstring. So that again allows uh, one size to fit all. So these are super comfy. Now in general, if you're wondering what, it's, what it feels like to wear um, scrubs, I would say it's like being in your pajamas. It's that comfortable. Imagine being able to go work every day and you just wear your pajamas. Well, that's what scrubs feel like. Super comfy. I wish I could wear scrubs to the supermarket and everywhere else. Now, one final thing about uh, scrubs is um, they usually come in 
of primary colors. The most common one I've seen is green. Uh, after that is blue. And in two of the hospitals I've worked in, that color coding for clothes is actually used to determine what specialty someone is in. So the general surgeons gen generally wore green and the obstetrics and gynecologists uh, wore blue. In addition, I also seen red and pink, which usually tends to be more associated with uh, the nursing staff. And uh, then it's black, like this one that I'm wearing here. Generally, I'm using this just for stage purposes as I deliver my presentations. But in real life, if I was going into an operating room, I would not want to wear black. And the purpose for that is if I get blood splatter all over me, I can't tell where it went. It's completely invisible. So that's why typically in a real operating room, you would hardly ever see anybody wearing a black um, outfit. So um, that is basically scrubs and why we wear them, why we like them, why they're so comfortable. Thank you very much for watching. Have a terrific rest of your week and I'll share some more insider secrets with you on the next episode. Oh, yeah! Tune in. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.